go into the uh, Uari Mountains, home of the Boar Squash. I wouldn't say that we're lost. We have been forgetting to vlog for the last 30 minutes or so. We've been driving around hopelessly in the forest here. Come and, um... Camp group, group camp? We're gonna get back to you, because I'm gonna look up a map real quick. We see this little thing that looks like it's an island peninsula thing that we can get to on this road here. It might be legit. We might never show up again, but uh, we're gonna go check it out and see if anything's cool over there. We found this. Apparently there's no camping allowed here. There's actually a lot of rules here. It's very lame, but it's nice. So we're just gonna see what's up in that little hill over there. Jared and I just uh, ran over here from that path. We were just appreciating the view. Then I found this. Hashtag thanks Obama. Trashing up this beautiful, just, uh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna go climb on that thing. I believe in you, man. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it, man. I made it. Wow. And now I got syrup on my hand. Apparently, there's no camping all here. It was a pretty cool find, but uh, now we need to go find a campsite. Probably give this place a uh, 8.5 out of 10 chicken wings. You guys should check it out. Do you guys want a guy like Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump for president? Or do you want a guy with class? Think about it. We are now headed to the heart of the Uari forest in search of a better life. All right, lads, uh, we just got to this place on the side of the road after three hours of just driving around. And we're gonna see what we can find. Blueberries. Nothing like some midnight hiking. All right, so we're here and there's Pokemon over here. So we're gonna go catch them all. But where's Keanu Reeves? Wait, yeah. We're in the Uari Mountains right now. Kevin's behind the camera. I'm standing here being blinded by this devilish iPhone light. We're gonna we're gonna keep trekking it. There was a campsite with a river about a mile back that way. But uh, no, we're not stopping there. We're gonna keep going. We were probably like a mile and a half that way and found a pretty cool campsite by the creek. We also saw a sign that said there's another campsite two miles this way. It could be a lame car camping site, but it also might be cool. We're gonna put all our eggs in a basket and go see if there's anything out there. So we almost stopped at this one place. It was pretty cool, but this place is a lot cooler. It's like a little island. We've got creeks on all sides and we come with a custom built campfire. Custom made Italian design. And a pretty sweet place to build a tent. So now we're going to set up our tent and we'll show you guys around once we uh, get things set up. We're getting along, setting up the tent. It's getting close, it's not quite finished. We got some of our stuff moved in. Still putting some of the gear in. We got uh, Jared over here. I'm Jared. Cooking up some dinner. Got a little fireplace going on over here. I'd say this has been a pretty sweet camping spot. Uh, the camp site is pretty much finished. Jared's having some issues with his flashlight. And uh, we're about to try some uh, lamb jerky. What do you think? Is it actually nasty or is it good? I actually really can't tell. We got dinner cooking up over there. It's about 11.01 and we're here. I'm pretty sure this lamb is actually raw. Good, 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 good. We are now eating dinner. I just heard a little crunch there. How are you feeling about it? I can't tell if it was my tooth or this pasta. All right, here we go. First impressions. Probably the best pasta I've ever had. We thought we'd uh, take you on a little tour of our house. We've got this part of the house and uh, that part of the house. We've also got that part and uh, this part over here, and this part. And uh, we got some sweet pouches over here. You can place your, you know, iPhones, your knives. I personally like to put uh, some gum. I brought some dentine cinnamon gum I keep up there. We got a fire going over there and we still kind of hear it. A little worried. Forest fire, am I right, am I right? So, we'll see. Hey guys, coming out, back at you with another vlog. It's um, Saturday morning, Jared's moving. It's uh, 7.26. I actually first woke up at 5 a.m. and had a dream that all these other people moved to our campsite. I woke up and again and it was 7. Now we're probably just gonna go see if we can catch some Pokemon or something. So I just opened the tent. This is actually the first time we've even seen where we camped at last night because, well, as you saw in the vlog, it was very dark. There's 
my chair, go to my dad. This is a pretty sweet spot, I'm not gonna lie. For being so close to home, pretty cool. The dirt here is actually really nice, so that's a plus. Here's the campfire from last night. Those are actually like whole logs, like those over there when we went to bed last night. And now it's nothing more than a pile of history. Game over. We're eating little granola bars with almond butter. What do you think? Um, personally, I think it's the best of ever. 10 out of 10 IGN game of the year. What about you? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, my life was changed a little bit when I first tried this. Dude, we uh, finished setting up camp. No more tent, no more fire. Now we are gonna get back on the trail and see if we can find our way out of here. I don't know, last night was kind of a blur. So maybe we're lost. If so, maybe one day someone will find this. I love you, Mom. Last night I uh, I went to take a sip of my water, realized I had none, but I just found it out here in the woods. Hopefully it's uh, hopefully not poisoned. I guess uh, we'll find out. It's probably poison. Well, there's not really any reason why I'm vlogging right now, so see you later. We just got back here to the vehicle, and um, I don't know, I'd give this trip a solid nine out of 10. I mean, in all honesty though, it was pretty sweet. This place is only like 30 minutes from where we live, so it's a pretty nice unexpected journey. Jared, what is the secret to being the world's greatest backpacker? Well, you see Kevin, I spent years cracking the code for having the perfect body. As you can see, I have a size 30 waist. It took a long time to get to. I remember when I was size 12, 14, 20. I had to become a man. Now, I bench press over 50 pounds, and uh, feels good.